We got a star on our hands on the south side of Chicago. Tim Anderson turned on it, flipped the bat. And this ball drilled deep left field. Oh! Have all the fun you want, Tim Anderson. He's their emotional leader. One of the best hitters in baseball. And the White Sox win it. I want to leave a mark in the game. I want to get better. I want to be the best. Here's the funny thing about Tim Anderson getting here. He wasn't remarkable when he got here. I don't remember the first time I met him, but I will never forget Tim Anderson. They just called him Tim Tim. I think that was when he was real, real small. Actually, Tim, was timid. I know it's very difficult for people back in Chicago to be able to fathom that. But he was a shy, quiet kid. Hi, my name is Tim Anderson. Hi, my name is Tim Anderson. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I was different. Uh -huh. I always wanted to, I like playing video games. I always wanted to be to myself. I always was shy and quiet but I always loved sports. I always wanted to, you know, just be around, you know, sports to get away from, you know, other things that was going on in my life. You know, I did sports to kind of, you know, stay away from, you know, streets. That's why I just really, you know, played a little bit of everything until something stuck. <laughs> so I was the youngest of five, so, you know, me and my brothers and uh, sister, we always played, you know, baseball in the neighborhood with a tennis ball. And we also played basketball as well in the neighborhood. I always wanted to play basketball. And, you know, most of my friends played basketball, and that's really all I knew. And, you know, trying to stay away from, you know, other things that, that was going on. So I had to, you know, I had to lean towards something, and sports was always an option for me. I can remember him trying to dunk as a ninth and 10th grader and said, we, we've got to find out about that young man. He's going to have to start playing basketball up here. I attended Gilchrist High School where I played basketball and baseball. I didn't know if he was really, really serious about playing, and so I was wondering if I needed to play somebody who's a little bit younger, who's more talented. There was knee injuries, um, leg, broken leg. Uh, it was just weird. It was just different. It was just, it was different. Um, you know, I broke one in um, right before the Christmas break, and then I healed up and came back. Um, and, you know, did the same thing to the other leg. So it was kind of like a freak incident. It was kind of tough to, you know, after two leg injuries, I didn't want to do sports anymore. I sat him in the chair before his senior year. There's a chair that is a little bit lower than mine, and so they have to look up at me. And usually that's the proverbial, I've gotten in trouble chair. But I sat him down and I said, look, it's your senior year, and I need you to be the leader of this team. This team has a chance to be special. say state championship special, but we've got a chance to be pretty good. And you could be the missing ingredient, but I don't want you coming out here unless you're 100% with it. And finally, when I looked in my eye and said, are you gonna do this or not? And he said, coach, I got this. Hillcrest basketball, 2010, 2011. Tim Anderson with a beautiful drive for two. And he did. He, he went out and was a leader of the team. Tim Anderson for two on the runner in the lane. Didn't put up with any mess from the others. Tim Anderson with a pretty pull up for two. I was like a floor general. Well, you know, I probably averaged for like 12 to 14 points, nothing crazy. Um, but I handled the ball real well and I was, you know, um, I was always looking for my wingmans and my big guys. More defense to offense. Anderson with the steal and break and great pass to Josh Wilson. Four, two. He was a stud basketball player. He's an incredible athlete, great mind. It was a pass first point guard first, but just a lockdown defender. That's why he was on the floor. And here's an unbelievable play as Tim Anderson knocks it away, saves it with a three-quarter court behind the back pass for the slamming 
two and one. And I can remember vividly going into the regional final and telling him that, look, nobody on tape has really seen you shoot the basketball, so you're gonna have to do that in these games. Tim Anderson with the three from the corner. And Tim Anderson with the triple from the right wing. Tim Anderson for three, and it's 20 to 17, Hillcrest after one. Well, two and a half minutes into our first game, he's already taken five shots, and I'm looking back at the coaches like, well, because he'd hit three of the five, too. Anderson knocks it down from Triple Town on the left wing. He carried us in those two regional games. During my high school career, I had a chance to be a part of the 6A state championship basketball team. We're ready to go here in the 6A boys final. Here's Timothy Anderson, runs the show for this Hillcrest offense. Tim Anderson feeds off to Laron Moore, and Hillcrest answering. A team took the lead in the state championship game. Big post player for his rebound, he kicked it to Tim. And the pressure stays on for Murphy. He just dribbled, drove. Anderson pestered as he works into the front court. And ended up getting the assist for the winning layup in that game. Puts Hillcrest back in front. The emotion from Hillcrest, give me the ball, I got this. And that wasn't set up by the coach. That was just him making a play. Proverbial coach's cliche. Big time players make big plays and he just did that for us. You get this aura around somebody where, give me the ball. And there, there's a little basketball in that. Give me the ball, I want the last shot. And only some people really believe that. He, he, you can tell, even though he was a point guard, he, he wanted the last shot. And the senior Tim Anderson, who Scott Suttles didn't even know if he'd come out for basketball this season, back to the line for another one and one. Earns the second. Nice job, a lot of pressure, but the senior steps up, sinks it. Oh, this isn't the last time he's gonna do something like that. He despised losing. It was, for him, it was winning or misery. He just was a leader. He just had an aura about him that you just knew that he was gonna be a winner and that he was gonna be a success in life, it, not necessarily in sports. That kid's got a special characteristic about him that you can't necessarily put your finger on, but you just know when you see it. People are still not sold on, you know, what type of player I am. You know, I kept working. I knew what I always could do. It's just the fact that, you know, other people don't know what you can do or other people don't know what, what's going on in your head or, or what you're determined to do. So uh, I just kept working and uh, it was an opportunity that came up and, you know, I took advantage of it. I plan to follow my career, hopefully playing in the big leagues one day. Once again, I'm Tim Anderson from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and 19 years old. Thank you. You see players grow, but I have never seen anybody grow week after week after week. And it's like, when's the growing going to stop? It just kept going. Hey, one second, one second. 